this week. All right. All well, right. Broadway's biggest night and biggest night for uh -huh. the stars there, they hit the red carpet last they night sure for the did. 68th annual Tony Awards. And here to break down who hit a fashion high note and who fell flat is our resident <laughs> style expert, Philip Block. Philip Block, hey, always hey. good to see you. In the house, we're going to break it down. down. <laughs> break it down. All right. <laughs> so it was a big night for Audra McDonald. She took home six, her sixth Tony Award. But how do you think she did on the red carpet? Yeah. Well, the dress Scotta, was Was that a Scotta look good. a winner? Yeah, I kind of liked it. It was summery. The big floral print is very in, but the hair... Not a so little much. messy, and at a certain age, a lady of a certain age needs to shorten it up a little bit, okay. I think. Keep it a little fresher. I know she got that young, handsome husband. <laughs> <laughs> Just that saying. That always helps, yes. But I, I think the look was great, and God bless her. God you bless know? her. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, Sophie Oconedo, she wore the French designer Sophie Tele. What did you make of her look? Brilliant. Okay. I thought she sparkled, she dazzled, and I think we all remember from Hotel Rwanda. We sure do. And we were kind of missing her for a yeah, while. Yeah, she'd been quiet for a while. She kind of came up, had that big moment, mm -hmm. and then disappeared. But this dress is fabulous. She won. She looks gorgeous. Yeah. And what can you say to that? The hair was tight and right. And those arms. Right and right. I know, right? The body. She's yes. in shape. And that's hard to do because when you're doing eight performances a week, who's got time for the gym? Yeah. That's true. But she was definitely doing her push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Backstage. Backstage. <laughs> All right, so what about Emmy Rosam? She's in this Ralph Lauren outfit. Now, I think she looked amazing, but what do you say? I loved it. I thought, I thought she looked chic. And we've seen mm -hmm. so many of the metallics this season. Mm -hmm. And this neckline is very, very in, this kind of halter top. I thought flawless. Absolutely flawless, and the long hair works on her. She's young, she's fresh. I, I thought it looked great, and she was on the cover of one of the papers today as best dressed. Go, Emmy. She's my girl. I'm going to see her Wednesday night. Ooh, there you go. Right. Two thumbs up. Two it thumbs up. It was the other one. There we go. All right. Now, Lucy Liu, you know, she likes to take risks. Mm -hmm. She wore a Vivian Westwood mullet dress. And it looked Short amazing. Short in the front, party in the back. What would you think? I liked it. I thought it looked really great because... Courtney uh, Love recently wore a Vivian Westwood dress, and there was boobaciousness going on everywhere. <laughs> Lucy Liu has the perfect figure for it. I, mm -hmm. I think she's demure and petite. It looks really cute on her. She's not too chesty. Right. And it really works. I, I look how tiny the waist. That's what a Westwood dress is supposed to look like. All right. Okay. It, it re kind of reminds me of the dress that Sarah Jessica Parker wore, the wedding yes, dress, the yes, Vivian yes. Westwood wedding dress she wore in exactly, Sex in the City. Exactly, yeah. Well, Vivian Westwood sort of... She redoes has, herself over. She yeah. has a style. And she has silhouettes <laughs> that she tends to exactly, favor. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so Maggie Gyllenhaal, she rocked Dolce & Gabbana, but she bombed at the Met Gala. Did she <laughs> redeem <laughs> herself this <laughs> time? Did she get it right, Philip? Please tell us. Maggie Gyllenhaal can wear some fugly dresses. She fugly. Sure yeah, she can wear some <laughs> fugly dresses. <laughs> But I thought she looked so beautiful here, right? Uh -huh. Dolce & Gabbana, I thought this was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I think she lost a few of the feathers down at the bottom of the dress, but I thought it looked really pretty, and there was a beautiful detail at the very bottom with the way they attached a little bit of ruffle down at the bottom. Really, really beautiful. This is one of the best looks she's had in ages, because she came on the scene as a fashion girl. She did, mm -hmm. and then she wore that dreadful Valentino polka oh, dot number at the Met Gala, another. and I was like, ooh, child, what is going on? <laughs> she has worn so many bad dresses in her career. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully she she'll stick to getting it that. right now. Yes. All right. <laughs> Can, well, speaking of bad dresses, Kate Mara, what did you make of that dress? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, I, what? Yeah. What? 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 Were what? you trying to what? figure it out? I, I, was I was trying to figure it out. I said, oh, that must be Chanel. <laughs> but, but it's Dolce & Gabbana <laughs> doing Chanel. And she's a fashion girl, so I give it to her for being a fashion girl. I, eh, not for me. Here's the thing. <laughs> she, the shoulders are overwhelming. Yes. The dress is overwhelming. She's only, what, five feet, five oh, one? Oh, she's a tiny, tiny little girl. I mean, girl. This, is, this is the dress for a grown, tall woman, yes. not a petite little thing. The dress kind of eats but her up. <laughs> it, absolutely, and it's kind of like like an astroturf, <laughs> metallic yeah. astroturf on the sleeves. Uh -huh. But I think the interesting thing is she is a fashion girl, and she brings it in that sense. Like, she... She could bring it if anybody else could, she could, you okay, know what I mean? All right. I'll now, give her Fantasia that. Now, Fantasia rocked the opening number uh, in the show, but I'm not sure she hmm. rocked the dress that she had on. That what dress was think? tacky. Talk about did she get that, uh, did yes. she get that from Coco? Uh, oh, oh, Ice tea and Coco? I think she borrowed that dress from Coco, and I think she borrowed whatever So, so what's wrong? There, is, it, too. is it the whole dress? Is it the color? What's wrong with the it? The color's great. Okay. The color's great. Uh, it's just way too much breast for way too little dress. Mm. I mean, and it, it, where did they come from? 
Did she always have those? No, I don't. I think I they're newly acquired. Those. No, <laughs> they came with a dress. <laughs> oh, that must be it. They're they're offering two for one now, three for one. <laughs> uh, three for one. Those were just like. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about Fran Drescher really quickly, but oh I don't gosh. think we'll have time. So let's just hit that up and then go to the men because we got to talk about Neil. I Patrick love Fran Harris. Drescher. She's a friend of mine. Why didn't you call me Fran? That's all I have oh, to say. All right, next, Neil Patrick Harris. Let's uh, talk about. I mean, what was going on uh, there? I don't know. I love you, Fran. Call me next time. You know better. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now to the guys. Neil the Patrick guys. Harris. He wore black nail black. polish, and yeah. he won big last night. What did you make of the look? Uh, the look was okay. The boyfriend got the cuter tux, though. Mm -hmm. The boyfriend had a cute pattern in his tux, and he looked a little tired. I, I got to say, he mm. looks exhausted. Well, he performed a matinee working. that day, yeah, so he so was Yeah, so God tired. bless him, too. You yeah. know? Yeah. God was working <laughs> overtime last night. <laughs> All right. Alan Cummings. One. Alan. Alan Cabaret. Cummings. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. the performance. Was brilliant. He's great. And again, uh, 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 did he spell ink on that? I mean, I just don't know. Uh, it looks like one of those Rorschach tests. Yeah, yeah, doesn't it though? Yeah. What do you see in this? Outfit? Crazy. Yeah. crazy. I see crazy. <laughs> I see a Cut piano. Great Z. Oh, crazy. Well, Philip Block, oh. it's always a pleasure to have you here. Oh, my Lord. And you'll come back for the next award show. Absolutely. Got Can we to. just give Hugh Jackman, T.I., and LL Cool J a what's up? All right. What's up? That, they looked hot, and, and they got Hugh Jackman to rap. So. All right. All right. Well, Thank there you, you so much, Philip. There always. you go. There you go. <laughs> and you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.